there's really nothing like fair food. And I heard they have a hamburger with two glazed donuts. In between is the buns, so I want to go try that as well. So you're on a mission. I am. <laughs> the sweets, the grilled, the fried anything. It's the Colasso Curly Fries. Hello. Do you like fries that much? She likes fries that much. You can spin anywhere, and the options are everywhere. I think it's just a feeling. It's just exciting. This food just makes you want to eat, diet or not. You just want to eat the fair food. But before the grills heat up and the lines get long, it's inspection time. Starletta Brown is with the County Environmental Services Department. Everything's good to go. Everything's hot. Everything's cold. That's right. Those corn dogs and chicken legs are checked on, making sure they're at the right temperature and safe to eat. Good, nice and cold. Depends on the meat. Let's say they're doing chicken. They're doing chicken from raw. It needs to get to 165. She makes sure the vendors have running water, hot and cold, and she even looks at the gloves they use. She made one vendor today switch them out with a different type. And that's one thing that the county does not allow for is latex. They can use vinyl, some other tough material for their gloves, just not latex. Latex is an allergen, so that's why I had them change gloves and get new ones. So this is the dreaded clothes sign. This is what vendors don't want hanging in their window, but the county says it's actually pretty rare they have to shut one of these places down. They try pretty hard to make sure that these folks are in compliance so this doesn't happen. That's something that really I try to work with the operator to get them into compliance. It does clothes signs only for like imminent ha health hazards. Everyone got the all clear today. Now it's time to dig in.